Hi guys, Ravika here and welcome to another little painting. This time it's a traditional piece with gouache and color pencils. If you're new to my channel, I am a freelance artist from Denmark and I usually do commission work, but I also have an Etsy shop. And I recently had a rather big update with a lot of new prints and handmade goodies <laughs> that are very limited and might probably won't be making those again anytime soon at least. So I'm working with gouache today and I'm using the Academy gouache from Sminke. I'm not sure I would actually recommend this brand or of paint to other people because I'm very very new to this medium and it's teasing the heck out of me. I'm having a lot of issues with the consistency and just the general way you use it. Um, I'm very much used to watercolor so I, I tend to still think about painting the same way that, that I would think about painting a watercolor so that's a bit tricky on my brain. Um, here I am actually thinking I'm going to keep the background white but then decide no. So I would just paint the whole thing yellow if I actually knew I was going to paint this over afterwards, but whatever. <laughs> Better late than never. So I'm starting out with this brownish color and I decide that it's way too brown when it dries up. And I'm going to blend in more of the blue color, which you will see here. So it has more like this really dark turquoise marine kind of feel to it. Um, which fits a lot better, I think, doesn't look so dirty, <laughs> dirty and muddy. Um, and I'm using a sort of limited palette. I'm using the colors that you see on the screen. Um, and I really like the whole feel of using a limited palette because it makes the whole piece more coherent. And even though I think it's, it's fun to have, um, uh, Premixed colors in the tubes and stuff like that, especially for watercolors, I like premixed colors for some things. But it does have a tendency to get more muddy. So for a cleaner piece uh, that doesn't get muddied up and it's more vibrant and stuff like that, I prefer to have a limited palette with with clean unblended colors that I can mix myself. So I feel like I got a little bit better with the consistency on, on making this piece and a little bird piece that I made after this. Um, especially because I'm actually working on a smaller canvas and I'm focusing on this single thing that I want to paint and not of a lot of details and I don't have to worry so much about my layers. I don't have to worry about shadows and stuff like that because I'm not actually going into that a whole lot. I'm more focused on the colors and uh, how they interact uh, and then defining the shape. <clears throat> Sorry. And I try to I, I try to challenge myself to do more details with the paint but I had already decided that this was going to be a mixed media piece because I really have issues with adding details with my gouache still. That, that's a major issue, issue for me. And that still comes down to one, not having the right brushes, I think. My, many of my brushes are watercolor brushes, so they are a tad too soft. But it also comes down to this, this consistency issue again. So I'm going to lay down as much as I can with the gouache uh, until I feel like I'm losing control of the piece. And then I am going to start using colder pencils. So I'm just going to dry it up a little bit. And I'm using my heat gun for that. You see it here. Just to make sure it's completely dry, dry because otherwise I'll just scrape off the, other, the color underneath when I start using my pencils. Um, I used a, um, a reference from Pinterest for this one. Um, I'll just post it up here. Um, but to be honest, I didn't actually look at the, <laughs> at the reference for very long. I mostly looked at it when I was like sketching out uh, the mushroom and the basic shape and stuff like that. Um, and for choosing the colors naturally. 
um but other than that i didn't actually use reference for a whole lot so i just wanted that general feel and that mix of colors and stuff like that i didn't focus much on shadowing and all that so I've been really enjoying my pencils this past month or something like that. Um, I usually do a lot of ink and watercolors. So this whole mixed media experience with laying pencils on top of gouache or watercolors is very new to me. And not something that I have enjoyed very much in the past, but I'm really enjoying it now. And I'm using uh, as a white pen here. It's not a gel pen. I'm using the acrylograph marker. It's super opaque, easy to control, a little bit too thick for my taste, but it's still a good control and it looks super nice. And it's so opaque, I can't get over it. So yeah, a simple little piece and a semi short video as well with natural little bit of peel. <laughs> We gotta have that peel in the end, right? But I am very, very happy with the end product. And uh, I'm thinking about putting this original up for sale together with the little bird that I, that I did after this on my Etsy in the coming week or so. Uh, comment down below if that might interest you and I'll make an effort to get it up soon. Anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.